Welcome everyone to another episode in Planet Zoo and we're going to take a look at some of the blueprints in the Steam Workshop. Our first couple of pieces were made by Survivor and Survivor has updated their sign with the Simpsons and it has, says welcome to Springfield and has all the Simpsons on there. And then they've also done the Lard Lad Donuts. And we have a nice little donut place right here. And it looks like we got some Missy Goods inside. So let's go ahead and take a look down here. Yep, we sure do. We've got two Missy Goods donuts in here. A set of restrooms. And oh, look at how cute this is. We have a nice little vending machine right here. That vending machine is really cute. Very nice piece. We got a handicapped parking spot over here. We got some police cars in here. And then we have the La Lard Lad Donuts statue right here. Look at how cute he is. Very nice. Now, Survivor has a lot of Sims, uh, Simpson pieces over on his Steam Workshop page. So you guys might want to all go take a look at that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this at night. And here's the Lard Lad Donuts all lit up at night. He looks great. He looks great. And we got this over here. And a look at our police cars. Their headlights are all on. And we even have some brake lights for them. And inside we have our donuts all lit up. And look at our vending machine. It even has some lights in it. Great build. Very nice builds. Thank you so much, Survivor, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Our next build was made by Valley Lou. And Valley Lou calls this horse-drawn carriages. Look at how sweet this is. Very nice. Wagons are all really well done. Look like little Clydesdales, don't they? And also with this kit comes uh, the uh, wagons so that you can do with them what you wish. The tack that would go with the wagons and individual horses so that you can use any of the horses that are here. Now this whole set can be brought in for right around 16k. Thank you so much Valley Lou for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing this most clever blueprint with all of us. Our next blueprint was made by That Sleepy Girl. That Sleepy Girl has been busy. This piece is called The Thinking Primate, and you can bring it into your zoo for right around 89,000. Let's go ahead and take a look here at what each one of these pieces are. They are gutter funnels. That's what uh, That Sleepy Girl makes all of her murals with. What a beautiful piece. Thank you so much, that sleepy girl, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Our next pieces were made by Hubba Blub. Hubba Blub calls this modern flowers, and you can get them in orange, red, and green. And I brought in six different ones here, and you can build each one of these for right around 3,000. And of course, we're showing this at night, because that is where it really shines. I just want to step back a little bit and show you how they just shoot off so much light. And then down at the base. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. And what are each one of these made of? We've got the lattice panel, which is used in there, and the beam square and all kinds of, and then down here the leaf is made by a sunshade wooden shade 
Thank you so much, Hub of Love, for posting on the STEAM workshop and sharing all of these beautiful flowers with us. Lighted flowers. Our next piece was made by Blasto Low, and they call this the Peacock Garden and Restaurant. And you can bring this into your zoo for right around $48,000. let us go ahead and take a look at this. I did not put it in any of the paths, but there would be paths all along here. And we definitely have some restaurants in here. What do we have got? We've got uh, the Gulpy Energy. And, oh, everything got selected there. It looks like we got a Chef Beef, French Fries, Water, a Staff Room in here, a Keeper's Hut, some restrooms, a Transformer, and a Water Treatment all located in here. And then we definitely would go ahead and set this up as a walkthrough. Very nice. And our pea fowls could be all around in here. Love this little layout that you've done here in the middle. Very nice. Nice little grouping of flowers. And tons and tons of donation boxes, which is really nice. Anytime your visitors are inspired to leave a donation, there it would be. And we've got some, a little bit of water back here for them. Uh, I don't think there's any water in it, though. Let's go ahead and get some water in here. There we go. Okay, we got a little bit of water in there. Some statues. All kinds of things to walk around. And going on ahead and walking all the way around. And then there would be an exit over here. Now there is more things in here. Okay, so we have our keeper's hut in here. So we'd go ahead and do uh, some layouts. This is the habitat cage door. So that our keeper is back here and we have a nice little staff room for them to get into. And then upstairs, some decorations so that you can see out the window. I guess more for the aesthetics. Thank you so much, Blasto, for posting on the STEAM workshop. You know what? Let's take a look at this at night. And here is the Peacock Garden and Restaurant all lit up at night. Very nice. Great job, Blasto. Our next piece was made by Manoli. And these are called peafowl chandeliers. And you can bring them, all five of these, in for right around 1.5 thousand. Look at how pretty they are. And they just come in all different colors. And of course, we're going to definitely want to take a look at these at night. And here are the chandeliers, all lit up at night. Oh, they're so pretty. I can just see putting these all over your zoo. What a wonderful piece. Very nice job, Manoli. Thank you so much for posting on the STEAM workshop and sharing this beautiful piece with us. Our next piece was made by Gachitama, and they call this the Japanese Temple Shelter, and you can bring this in for right around 4.5 thousand. Now this would be great in just about any habitat. And right down here at the bottom. Got nice little sleeping quarters. Put in some nice little beds down here. Nice and quiet for them. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this piece at night. And this is the Japanese temple shelter all lit up at night. Thank you so much, Gachitama, for posting on the STEAM workshop. Our next piece was made by Turkle Charluca, and they call this the Climbable Rainforest Hut. And this, again, would be great in just about any habitat. Look at all this climbing area. And you could put in bedding up there for them. What a wonderful piece.
Very nice. Perfect mix of colors here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this at night. And we have one little lantern out here lighting up the area. Thank you so much, Turkla Charluca, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Your name is quite a tongue twister. Beautiful piece. Our next piece was made by Senga, and they call this the Victorian Mansion, and you can bring this in for right around 18000 Look at how beautiful this building is. I want to live here. Now, what do we have here? We have the French fry place. Yeah, the French fry place. And do we have anything else? I think we, there's another one. Oops. We have some restrooms back in here. And I believe that there is, okay, here it is. Another place right here. Ah, the milkshake place is back here. All the way around back. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this piece at night. And here is our Victorian mansion all lit up at night. Great job. The lighting in here is perfect. Thank you so much, Senga, for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing this beautiful building with us. Our next piece was built by Marie Madre95, and they call this the Mosaic Africa. And you can bring this in for right around 116000 I have a feeling of this mosaic is made with all kinds of tiny little pieces. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, so let's find out what they made it with. Okay, gutter funnels again. What a beautiful, beautiful piece. Thank you so much, Marie. For posting on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Iris Hoffman and it is a monkey habitat and you can bring this right in for right around $7,000. Now your visitors would go in right here and of course we've got the education boards and the way that they can view um, where's the and they can view your monkeys right here and your monkeys can climb right over the top of this and go over to the other side. We've got some uh, terrariums in the middle here with some education boards. But let's go ahead and take a look at the habitat itself. Look at this beautiful, beautiful archway and all these flowers. What beautiful work this is. Nice water, nice little barrier so your monkeys can't get out. And then of course we have got all of this climbable stuff for them. Look at, oh, your monkeys would love this. I could just see them being all over these things. And way up over here, we have sleeping quarters for them. That's everything that your monkeys could possibly want and some toys laying around. I like the idea of this viewable platform being inside and your visitors being able to see out. And you could have monkeys climbing over the top here. That would be so neat to be down there and see a monkey climbing over the top here. Very nice build. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this piece at night. And here is our monkey habitat all lit up at night. Great job, Iris. 
What a wonderful piece. Thank you so much for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing this very original creative design with us. Our next piece was made by Anna Mora Sab, and this is called Planet Zoo 101 Oriental Courtyard Multi Space Habitat, and you can bring this in for right around $250,000. Let's first off, let's just take a quick look around the outside of it. So much detail work. And out here we have the habitats. And this is all one habitat. They all join up to each other. And this habitat over here joins up inside. And how they join up is these little walkways through here. And they go over to the middle. Let's just look at these bridges. This would be a walkway for your people to be able to go ahead and walk through here. Make a nice little bridge coming out here. Uh, but the way in I do not believe that's the way in. I believe that this is the front door right here. So you'd make a nice little bridge for your visitors to come in this way. And we look each way. And we would walk around. And we would come out into the main habitat area. Look at all of this beautiful, beautiful detail done on all of this. And here's the centerpiece over here. And look at how detailed these beautiful bridges are. The animals that are su uh, suggested for this habitat would be either the greater flamingo, maybe an African buffalo, a pygmy hippo, or maybe the red ruffled lemur. Or you can put all of those in here together and they would all function quite happily. What a beautiful piece. So much work, so much detail. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this piece at night. And here's the Oriental Courtyard, a multi-space habitat, all lit up at night. What a beautiful piece. Thank you so much, Anna Morisab, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Thank you, everyone, for joining me on today's episode. If you have not subscribed yet, you might want to do that right now so that you're here for next week's episode and um go ahead go out and visit some of these very very creative um artists that are on the steam workshop some wonderful wonderful pieces thank you so much everyone you have a good day and take care